Can you solve the riddle of the IB genie? The riddle goes like this. In legends spread through IB lands, we find the story told of a genie in a magic lamp who turns all grades to gold. The seven friends had heard the tale and wished that it were true. Just find the IB knowledge lamp. Success will come to you. It can't be true inductively, Paul morosely wailed. I've tested all the lamps in town, and all of them have failed. It takes just one, Christina cried, to overturn your doubt. Extend the search beyond the town. Find the genie. Let him out. The seven friends searched everywhere, till each felt quite a fool. Abandoning the quest, they met in the library at school. And there, between the lofty shelves, the seven puzzled sadly. But could there be another way to knowledge we want badly? Then eerily behind the books suffused a golden glow, and from it came the husky growl, What do you want to know? I give you wishes for a week, I'll grant you one each day, so take your turns and wish before I vanish far away. The seven friends by accident had found what they did seek, so there amidst the books at school they planned their magic week. The first to wish chose eloquence upon a Sunday noon. Let others understand my thoughts, O oh, grant this language boon. On Wednesday eve another friend chose rationality. I want to understand the math that often eludes me. It's talent of the heart that count, another day cried Lee. The true understanding that I seek consists of empathy. After Lee had made her wish, the next turn went to Paul. Athletic prowess, give me please, hot shots in basketball. I want to sing amazingly, said Saturday's friend doing trills. Another day, Maimona begged, please give me essay skills. On Friday, in the setting sun, a friend, not Sally, said, I'd like to understand myself and the confusing life I've led. Kiara one day took a turn, and later also Tim. It wasn't Tim who wished to sing or know himself within. The seven friends were jubilant and eager now to learn, with knowledge skills so granted them as each had had a turn. And off they went to practice scales or basketball or math, or introspection, kindness, or whatever was the path. The genie snug behind the books dimmed down the lamplight's glow, and smiling to himself intoned, what do you want to know? So the question is, what did each friend wish for, and on what day did they make their wish? Now is your chance to pause the video and solve the puzzle yourself. Click here to hear it again, or to check the description where the riddle will be posted in text form. So pause the video now and solve the puzzle yourself, then come back here to see if your solution is correct. You didn't actually pause it, did you? No, you just thought to yourself, nah, I just want to know the solution. I don't want to actually think about it. Listen, do yourself a favor and take the 10 minutes out of your life to at least attempt this riddle. It's so much better than having it spoiled by a video, trust me. Anyway, for those who have already attempted it, here is the solution. We can start by making a chart to organize the information we're given a column for the days of the week, and a column for who made the wish, and a column for what wish was made. First, we enter all the wishes that we know the days for. Boop bop boop bop Next, we record the names, along with who wished for what. We know the wishes of three of the students, and we know the days for four of the wishes, so the three must fit in the days where no wish has been determined. So, how do we order these three? Well, if you pay attention to Paul and Lee's wishes, the riddle states that Paul has his turn next after Lee, which means that they must wish on Monday and Tuesday, as that is the only time when we have two consecutive days when no other wish is being made. The last slot goes to Maimona and her essay skills on Thursday. So what about these four? We are given no specifics on what their wishes are and when, but we are given some limitations. Sally didn't wish to understand herself, Chiara's wish came sometime before Tim's, Tim's wish wasn't to understand himself or to sing well. So we'll start with Tim. 
Tim cannot wish on Friday or Saturday, so he'd have to wish on either Sunday or Wednesday. But he wished after Chiara, so Wednesday is the only day that fits all these criteria. Since Tim is on Wednesday, Chiara must be on Sunday. That leaves only two slots left, and since Sally didn't wish to understand herself, she must have wished to sing amazingly. That leaves us with Christina, who, of all things to understand, she wished to understand herself. Maybe she has amnesia? I don't know. And there you are, the solution to the riddle of the IB genie. You can now see if you were correct, or more realistically, you know now the solution to a riddle that you never even tried. <sighs> I hope you're happy with what you've done. <laughs>